What is up everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys one of the apps I've been using a lot recently, the app called MacroDroid. So this app basically lets you automate some of the tasks that you do on your phone, such as let's say if someone call you and you want to accept the call automatically, or you want to reject a call for a particular person, you can do that as well. And it all happens automatically at the background with the help of this app. So what we're going to do is first of all the app you can download from Play Store. Let me show you. So the app name is MacroDroid. I've already installed that on my Android phone. So let's go and check out the app. So I'm going to tap on open to open the app. So this is a very clean interface I have in MacroDroid. So the first tab you see that macros. So I have zero macros right now. Second tab lets you add macros and the third tab is the templates. Let's look at the templates. What are the default templates we get with this app? One thing I want to mention that if you're using a free version and you will have to deal with ads and you can only make five macros. So let's look at the templates we have. So first template request liquidation. So that means if you receive any message and you want to share your location in re in reply, so you can do that automatically as well. Speakerphone enabled. That's kind of cool that if you are driving and you want to accept a call and then turn on the speaker automatically, it can happen for you. Fully charged notification. So if your phone get charged 100% then it will beep after it charged 100% so shake to upload photo stay time on button toggle answer calls automatically so if you want to accept the call from a particular person you can do that as well and one thing I want to mention here that you see some of the options have a root only so you need to have a rooted phone to use this feature now let's go back to add macros and let's try adding a macro. I'm going to tap on add macro. So on the top you will see three options, triggers, action and constraint. The triggers are the things that can happen on the phone and then once that happens then the trigger will perform an action. So let's say if uh, my battery level goes to, let's say, let me just add that macro first. So let's add a trigger. Trigger would be battery level. So option would be increase or decrease. So let's select that decreases. So let's say if I change that to 20% and tap on OK. And now the trigger has been added. On the top you can see battery 20% trigger has been added now. Let's go to the actions. In actions, we can perform an action once our battery gets to 20%. So once uh, we get to 20%, what I want to do is I want to turn on auto brightness. So let's just click OK. It's going to ask you to go to the settings and allow some settings. So always when it asks you to do that, just go and tap and you know just turn on the settings for it. So now I'm going to go back. And let's select the brightness and I'm going to change the bad brightness value to something like 13% right I'm gonna turn auto brightness actually so that was the action we had and uh, now let's look at some other triggers now in the trigger section you can select call active so if someone call you you can select a particular number from your phone book as well so call ended call incoming miss called outgoing and uh, this is one cool feature here as well so call ended uh, call incoming actually so if let's say if you want uh, to block someone and someone's keep calling you what you can do is you can select a particular number and that call will be rejected automatically so let me show you how to do that so let's select call incoming and now you can select a specific contact, a group of numbers, or select a number. So let's say I will select a specific contact, and I just want to select one of the known unknown caller. Tap on OK. So trigger has been added now. We go to the actions, and in the actions we can say call reject. That trigger has been active. And we can go to the constraint so let's say if I want to make sure that if that person calls me and it gets rejected I want to add a condition here so let's say if I 
want to select day of the month so only these days of the month that action can be performed so one that triggers happens someone call me that particular person call me and the action will be performed only these days so you can select a lot of constraint here such as uh, let's say power connected if it's uh, connected to power then it can happen otherwise it won't happen finger volume so there are so many things that you can do let's go back to triggers to add that trigger or macro to your system all you have to do is just press on this tick mark name your macro I'm gonna name it call reject let's tap on ok and this will show you an ad which can be cancelled from no thanks now we have added that macro let's go back and look at the macro so we have the call reject macro it's on you can turn it off if you want you can turn it back on so if you want to look at it let's say if I tap on it it will take me to this page where I can add more actions so if that trigger happens that person call me then I can reject the call and on the top I can send a message as well so let me show you where to find it okay so you can launch the application which is going to be a message up and then you can just type the message so there are so many things that you can do guys and just check it out it's pretty cool I've been using a lot and you can really automate your phone so let's go back try adding another macro one cool feature that this uh, macro app has is that uh, you know when you shake your phone you can turn on a particular app so let's say if I use YouTube studio app a lot so what I can do instead of just going to my phone and then searching for YouTube app and then turn it on what I can do I can select a trigger from here so shake device is a cool trigger let's go to the actions and now we can add an action launch application where is it all right, so launch application. It's gonna get the list of apps in my phone. Taking a while because I have a lot of apps in my phone. So, yep, so these are all the apps I have. So I'm gonna find YouTube app. Where is it? YouTube app. All right, so force new, that's fine. Tap on okay and tap on this tick mark to add that. Now you can say YouTube, okay? I don't care about spellings now tap on the cross to finish that now we have added two macros to, just to mention again you can only add five macros on a free version so you can upgrade to the pro versions if you want to have unlimited macros now let's go to the home page and now I'm gonna show you guys that if I shake the uh, phone and it should turn on a YouTube application there you go so we have the YouTube application on so it's really cool give it a try and uh, yeah that's it for this video guys and if you like the video smash the like button thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for these kind of tips and tricks videos as well yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers